Hi, I'm Holly. And I'm Mike. And we are here today because we have found another incredible wine to talk about from the region of Corsica in the Mediterranean. Corsica? Where the heck is Corsica? <laughs> yeah, good question. I never knew they even made wine in Corsica. The only time I've ever heard of Corsica is, what was that guy's name? Napoleon was born on Corsica and I just kind of knew it was out in the Mediterranean somewhere but it actually is an island that belongs to France but has a lot of Italian influence. It's just north of the island of Sardinia which is off the west coast of Italy and just south of Provence in the southern region of France. So some nice blending of, of traditions there between mm -hmm. France and Italy. Um, yeah, very very Mediterranean varietals there. Uh, this this particular one is all Vermentino, they call it, right? Yes, right. Um, and Domaine Mastracci, I think I'm pronouncing it mm -hmm. correctly. E Prove mm -hmm. is the white. So they, they do white, red, and rosé at this uh, at, with this producer. But this is, I think, the most important grape coming out of uh, Corsica for white wines. And uh, I've had them from Sardinia, and like you said, and and some from Sicily, and even some from the Tuscany Ligurian area. But uh, this is a new one for me. I've never had this wine before, and I was blown away by it. And I knew you yeah. would love it. So. I, I love it, and you know, I just I love finding new things like this. And here's Corsica, kind of similar to, to Sicily years ago. You know, where Sicily is is really Sicilian, then it's Italian, whereas Corsica is really it's Corsican. Then it's French, but they really pride themselves on this, on this, this culture and this tradition that's very unique. And uh, you know, even though I've heard of Corsica, it's very hard to find the wines from Corsica. Um, the New York Times did a great article a few months ago on Corsican wines, and everybody was was out looking for Corsican wines, and they're very hard to find. Again, similar to what Sicily years ago um, had great wines, but wasn't really exporting them a lot. But thanks to this incredible importer, Kermit Lynch, who is one of our favorites, who has really championed the wines of Corsica, we are now seeing some of these come into the market, and, and very exciting. He calls it the most exciting wine region in France, which yeah. is pretty exciting. And there <laughs> seems like there's maybe 10 major wineries there that yes. are really making good stuff yeah. Yeah. and uh, this is certainly one of them and uh, this wine the red of this of this producer was the one featured in his in his article exactly so um and it's it's interesting because even though you don't know, think this little island they have their own avas several different you know important avas this one comes from a region called calvi c-a-l-v-i which is up in the northwestern uh, corner of the island. Um, the island, very much like Sardinia, is is a lot of mountains, big mountainous in the, in the middle, and they they have plateaus near the ocean where they grow the vines. And um, you know, again, very unique. Vermentino in Corsica is actually the same as Vermentino in Italy, and as like Mike was saying, Tuscan coast, uh, Sardinia, yeah, and I love them. But this really takes this grape to the next level. Mm -hmm. To me, it just it's a fuller bodied, yes. really much richer textured. Um, wine that mm. then it makes in the other areas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's let's yeah let's, let's give this. this a taste. I mean, you know, I, I love the color of this too. You know, if you hold it up to the light, this has definitely got some some nice hue to it, which mm -hmm. is, tells me it's either it's either oak or flavor, and it's not oak, no, it's not. <laughs> so it's yeah. flavor. Yeah. So I mean, this wine is not inexpensive. It's seventeen ninety nine, but I think it's worth every every penny. It's uh, it's all uh, hand picked. The grapes are hand picked, uh, done all in stainless steel, no oak on this, and it's got a huge citrus notes for me and. Uh, it's just as soon as I smelled it, I knew I was going to love this wine. It's a beautiful nose, and you know, here I think you know, yeah, seventeen ninety nine for a bottle, but um, a ticket to Corsica would probably cost mm -hmm. a little bit more. And this is really taking me, you know, virtually to the island of Corsica. Mm -hmm. You can taste the minerality in this. It is really to compare it to any other wine. I don't even know how to do it because it's so unique. Yeah. Um, the body is just very mouth filling. Mm -hmm. I get citrus. I get mineral. I get almost a little bit of a smoky note. Yep. I get herbal. Um, I think there's just a nice green element in here. Mm -hmm. um, it's very it's very complex. Yeah, it little, just, I keep tasting new things. Like a little bit of grapefruit, but just, yeah. it's not so much, and um, I'm getting a, a touch of apricot. When I, drink, when I drink this wine, with that herbalness that you mentioned, it, and the Mediterranean history of this wine, 
reminds me of like a pesto, like having it with pesto mm. or something like that. I was thinking a pesto sauce would be perfect yeah. with this. Or, you know, lately I've been, um, it's, it's summer, so I love those, the watermelon salads, you know, we put oh, a little yeah. feta and fresh mint mm -hmm. or fresh basil, whatever you have from the garden. Mm -hmm. This would be a shoe in with, with, you know, a nice fruit salad. Yeah. Um, that herbal note, if you're having a fish dish, like um, like a halibut with like a citrus thyme sauce or, or one of my favorites, swordfish with a, a little tarragon on it, I think this would make a great connection and really that, that herbality in the wine is really mm -hmm. amazing. Agreed. Well, Beautiful finish. Yeah. Great acidity. It's a good bottle of wine. Yeah, it really is. And you know it, it's fun. It's an adventure, and mm -hmm. you know jump jump ahead of the uh, of the curve and, and experiment with Corsica. These wines are hard to find. This will be maybe your first introduction to a Corsican wine. And the more I think we start um, promoting Corsica, the more we'll be seeing uh, wines from there and, and through yeah. Kermit Lynch especially. Yeah. So he he alone I think brings in four or five at least that I know of, and so. If these if this this starts to sell, you know, we, we'll bring in more. But um, yeah, as Holly said, get ahead of the curve and, and tr really try this wine. Yeah. It's it is very delicious, good. a very unique. And don't be afraid of the label, Domaine Mastracci. That's the producer. Mm -hmm. Eprove is just their name for this wine. It means I think translates to it's proven or it's yeah, um, the proof here's or, proof or yeah. the evidence of what we're doing. Right. And a Corsa, C O R S E is Corsica, mm -hmm. and Calvi is the region within yep. the country. So. Mm -hmm. uh, very exciting new wine. Yeah, give it a try. Yeah. It's absolutely outstanding. Yeah. Cheers. Enjoy it. Thank you.